in this uh, video we will see that how to use this MATLAB uh, for your antenna design and in this video particularly I will be designing a micro strip antenna for a uh, Wi-Fi frequency that is 2.4 gigahertz. So what to do? First open your MATLAB and uh, then here you will find the antenna designer toolbox will be there. So how to go? So if you open MATLAB first there will be home then you go to apps and in apps you can find the antenna designer here if you directly it is not available here you can click this arrow button here and it will show all the available toolbox in your system so uh, the thing is that while installing matlab you need to take care that you have installed this toolbox okay so after i open the toolbox i'll go to the toolbox now this this is how the toolbox window will be looking like so it's a blank window and here it is simply written click on the new plus button to explore the antenna library so basically this is a library of antennas with some specifications you can design your own antenna so once you click on the uh, new button then what will happen by default uh, this dipole antenna will be opening for you but i need a micro strip patch antenna so what to do so here you can see the uh, arrow button is there so just click on the arrow button and search for micro strip okay so if you search for micro strips so whatever different types of micro strip patch antenna is there it will just show up all but I need a simple micro strip patch antenna here. So I will select this patch, so micro strip patch antenna. After you select this, so uh, this patch antenna uh, basic configuration it will be shown here. So you can see, uh, so here there is a ground, there is a patch and in between it is considering the air as the medium. Uh, you can take air but later on we can change this matter also that will show how to change this material. But uh, initially it takes the ground plane and a patch. So it's just a design we don't have given we have not given any kind of frequency here so where to give the frequency so i am designing a 2.4 gigahertz so i'll write here 2.4 and in the unit you make sure that you make it gigahertz okay or else you write 2400 megahertz so after you do all this then there is nothing to do just click on accept button here so once you click the accept button here then what will happen it will do the all the calculation for the basic micro strip patch antenna that is what is the width, what is the length and uh, what is the substrate height, all those things. So you can see here the length in meter it has taken. So that is 0 0.059 that is almost uh, uh, 60 mm or 6 centimeter uh, it has created. And the width is taken as 0 0.07. So that is 7 centimeter around. And the height is taken as 0 0.001. So that is 1.2 millimeter I can say. So 1.2 centimeter it has uh, taken that. So next is ground plane length. So ground plane length. This is a patch. About the patch. This is the ground plane. It has taken. And uh, uh, then the offset means it is taking the feed at the center point. So you can see this is a center point. The red uh, button you can see it's the center one. Okay. So next uh, what else it has created. Let us see. So patch micro strip substrate. So substrate it has taken by default dielectric. So as I said you can change this material as well. So if I, uh, you can change to FR4 generally, FR4 is taken everywhere. So if you uh, click FR4, then what will happen? This epsilon R value will be taken automatically. And uh, you click on apply, then what will happen? You will see this, this design changes, right? Now you can see a ground plane is there and then FR4 substrate and above that one micro strip feed is there. Okay. So you can do all these changes here. Uh, Next is micro strip as conductor material. Generally, PC is taken. You can take copper as well if you want. So, if you go to this drop down, you can see copper, aluminum, gold, silver, all the available conductors are there. Uh, then, load impedance, uh, it's actually not required. So, we'll just leave it. Location is feed, and feed location we are giving the offset value. Uh, feed offset is 0 0.001. So, it has calculated which offset will give you the best answer. Now here in the top you can see center frequency is 2.4 gigahertz you can see it is written because uh, initially I have given that and then the frequency range is starting from 2.16 gigahertz to 2.64 gigahertz okay. So it is written megahertz here so 2160 megahertz and with a step size of 24 so if I reduce the step size then the uh, S parameter will look more smooth and it will calculate on more number of frequency point. So just for basically trying that uh, basically trying or just to see the behavior of the antenna we don't need to add multiple frequency points so with uh, less frequency points also it will work so now after all this we can click on the s parameter to check whether the antenna is properly working or not so how 
So, this experimenter will tell us that uh, at the part design frequency, what is the value of the return loss or the S S11 value. So, if it is below uh, minus 10 dB, then we will see that okay, the antenna is properly uh, resonating. Then we will see the radiation pattern and all to see the antenna performance here. So, it takes a little bit of time for uh, uh, calculating for micro strip patch and uh, again it depends on your uh, uh, size or the capacity of your system. So, if you have a high end system with higher processor then it will be uh, working very fast. So, we will just uh, wait for some time and it will do the, all the calculations. So, you can see like uh, uh, this will be calculating the frequency point like this. So, this is basically depending on <coughs> what is the uh, pre, uh, this uh, 24 means at 24 steps uh, the size step size is 24 is given. So, if you reduce the step size it will calculate more number of frequency points which is not required here it is as you see it is taking time. So, just to visualize that how it is going to behave we can just uh, add less number of frequency points so that we can just know that whether at the particular frequency point it is getting resonating or not. If it is not then you can uh, increase the frequency point to see. So, now you can see here at uh, 2.4 gigahertz it is properly resonating here. Now, once it is resonating next part is what we need to see the radiation pattern here. So, 3D radiation pattern if I see here uh, I just click on the 3D radiation pattern and it will uh, create the radiation pattern for you. Uh, so, it is very easy compared to your CST and other software, it is uh, very easy. So, now you see the radiation pattern is created here. Now, if I rotate this, below you can see the antenna structure is there. So, you can visualize that how the radiation is happening, it is a broadside radiation, okay. And here the maximum value is 10.1 dBA it is written and the minimum value that the lower lobe is minus uh, 31.1 dBA. Okay, now after this you can use the, uh, you can see the 2D radiation pattern as well. So, 2D radiation pattern is actually seen from the top side. So, like this, uh, here there is both the things are there, one is azimuth angle, one is elevation plane pattern. So, azimuth plane pattern means if you see from the azimuths, that means like this, uh, the blue circle you see. So, uh, from in that way the pattern will be there. So, how to look in the pattern, you can... Uh, have a look let's say separately but this is how this is going to radiate if you see from the azimuthal angle and if you see the elevation plane pattern so you just click on that it will give you the elevation plane pattern and generally from the elevation plane pattern only we see the how the antenna is radiating that's how the gen radiation pattern is taken generally uh, so from here also uh, you can uh, see what is the beam width i can say the beam width if i see uh, verbally means virtually I can say 120 to 60 in between it is so uh, I can say the beam width is uh, like uh, around 60 degree here so I can say like that okay. So, if you want to see the what is the maximum value here so if I rotate like this you can see the maximum value is around 10.01 so 50 percent of the maximum value so if I go till this value so this is 125 degree around 5.1 and this side if I go again 5.1 uh, 5 is at 60 degrees. So, around 65 degrees is the beam width I can see here. Okay. So, this is how you can simply uh, design a micro strip patch antenna using MATLAB and you can visualize the result here. So, further with this also so many other options are there that I will discuss in some uh, other videos. So, thank you.